All right, everybody. Uh, right here, this is Chrome OS, as you can see up here. Uh, I've downloaded a virtual machine from the great web, and I've just been taking a look at it. It's an interesting operating system. It's not an operating system you can install on your desktop um, or any kind of computer that's, you know, your personal computer. This is specifically for, like, netbooks and pieces, computers that really don't have, uh, they're really portable and they don't have a lot of space and they need something really light. And as you'll see as I power this on here, that it's really, um, pretty low on features. The interesting thing about this operating system is that it is very malware proof. It's a cloud computing system, so most of the files that it uses are stored. Most of the stuff that it uses is stored online. Um, the other thing is every boot up, it loads, it reloads essential operating system files from Google's server. So it's kind of a, it's, again, it's a cloud a cloud-based operating system so it's not a lot of it isn't really on your computer so you sign in with your Google account uh, name and password and you sign in and it throws up your uh, your um, Google Chrome that's basically what it is what you see here is a Chrome browser and uh, it has a task manager which is like the only feature that isn't in the Chrome browser basically um, so it's using one CPU not much memory this says stats for nerds but for some reason the there we go and about memory so right here it says yeah it's just showing me how much memory is being used and you know and again that was in the browser window so if I typed in about memory so again it's all in the browser right here um, it's like your launching spot for all of your different um, programs and like uh, this is uh whoops click the wrong thing so in essence it's all in the browser so here we go here's a cloud based calculator let's do 12 plus 23 equals 35 so again it's a calculator in the browser and all of these things uh, basically pop up as a sidebar on the um, thing all of just they come right up here and they uh, if it's not in the browser it's just a little a little window right here and like chess is in the browser brings you to flashchess.com and as far as I'm concerned this is acting pretty sluggish here so let's just click beginner and uh, you play chess so that's the way the game works all the games are online so again you're seeing it's it's very light and if you're going to do something like write up a document or view a document, you click Google Docs, it brings you the eh. For some reason, Google is not working right now, which is just great. Yeah, so whatever. All this stuff doesn't seem to be working right now, which I guess isn't a real problem, but 
and then you can view your contacts, all of your other stuff. If you're doing this on an actual netbook, you can turn Wi-Fi on, you can turn Ethernet. Right now it's like it's on Ethernet because I'm doing it a virtual machine. It'll tell you your battery and it'll give you a clock. And you can open time options. If I close this, it just reopens because there's nothing else you can see. Um, if we go under here, it's options you can do. You can adjust the touch sensitivity, so I could wing this up and my mouse would move faster. Speed sensitivity. Of course, this is all for touchpad because this is designed for netbooks and, you know, you can alter your home pages, personal stuff, you can save your passwords, um, under the hood. You can alter a few things, like you can change the download locations. Um, but in essence, like say I wanted to go download something. I'm going to actually download iCar because I'm being silly. Oops. Which is an anti malware test file for uh, Windows, actually. So that's why it's silly. It's just something to download for me to test this. And if we go to Downloads, Show in Folder, it's not opening a folder, because I don't know if it runs that. And it doesn't open either. It doesn't say anything. So right now it's really basic, and it's really rudimentary, uh, and it's kind of buggy in this format. Um... But it's, it is legitimate, and this is the real thing, and it has promise if you have a netbook that you're just taking with you and you want to do a completely web-based thing and you're not, like, using a text editor or anything. Google Docs will substitute for the most part. But this is an interesting little operating system, and it's only... What I downloaded is only 300 megabytes, so it's pretty small, too, for the most part. All right. Thanks for watching. That was just a preview of Google Chrome OS, and uh, I'll see you next time with an antivirus review.